Welcome back to the channel everyone, this is AJ. Welcome to my review for episode 5 of The End Game. Let's just get straight into it, shall we? So, we've hit episode 5. Yes, um, entitled Gold Rush. Now, this episode opens with a flashback of Elena and Sergei. Um, they've caught the bloke who's planted the bomb in the church that's killed their families and uh, they get some information out of him and um, Elena promises not to kill him but she gets Sergei to kill him yeah so yeah and then we jump forward and we go to bank six um, now there's some going on in this bank this is like Federal Reserve where they keep a load of gold and they decide to go in the, the you know, people in the bank they, not they decide plan is is to go in and, and look like they're going to be stealing the bullion that's in there so this leads um val turner to go and see the bloke who who designed the the safe so to speak and and there is a way into the safe like a back door shall we say through a, a concrete wall which hasn't been reinforced with rebar or anything like this so they managed to get into the in into the safe now before this, while well, Val Turner is recruiting this guy, shall we say, so to speak, um, three people who she believes to be Val Turner's, sorry, Elena's people, come to kill them. Um, only these people turn out not to be Elena's uh, and all this sort of stuff. So, you know, that, that's the sort of crux of the episode. Now, oh, where do I begin? Where do I start with this? All right. This show's becoming very repetitive. Um, it feels like the stuff going on in the banks each week is the same. I'm watching the same thing, just dressed up differently. Um, the same skeletal structure, but with different flesh on it, so to speak. Um, there's silly stuff in the writing that I'm not enjoying. Like, like when you... And this is done for, for the stupidity of the audience, shall we say, right? In that early episode where we saw the explosion in the church, we see the geezer put the bomb on that top shelf, um, only with a red flashing light, because we're so stupid as audience members that we're not going to be able to get it any other way than that this is a bomb than having a massive big flashing light staring you in your face. Now, this episode does a very similar thing. At the end, obviously, we come to find out that um, get them getting into the into the bullion chamber, the bullion um, safe, isn't actually still bullion, but it's actually stick another piece of gold looking bar in there that's got this little, little, you know, um, flap on it, so to speak. Uh, and when everyone's gone, this little flap opens and it's got like a 48 hour timer. Ooh, what's that? You know, what's gonna go on with that? But again, we're so stupid as audience members or they're so stupid as writers that they can't think of another way of translating that to us. So we're sat there watching and, and all of a sudden this little thing opens when no one's about just for the audience to see that there's a timer. How ridiculous is that? Now, what would have made more sense was when the guy was, um, about to put the thing up you you saw him fiddle with something and then set it and then close it and put it up uh, as opposed to opening when there's no one there just constant stupidity now this episode also has a lot of um people backstabbing other people sort of like people who have been against each other sort of look like they're teaming up but then you feel feel that there's a bit of backstabbing going on um jonathan doke um you've got other characters that have sort of been strengthened together um in previous episodes now having a little rift between each other sergey and um owen turner yeah um agent anthony flowers um is given something to do this episode um he gets to go to visit owen turner in the and, and, and inform him what's happened to val where she's been in this shoot up so i'll be honest with you the series needs more it is it's getting to the point now where, you know, I'll be honest, I'm struggling to review it, as in I'm sat there watching it and thinking, I don't really want to talk about this episode. I don't want to talk about the intricacies of the episode or what characters are doing in the episode. 
I want to come and have a little moan about the episode. And that's never good. That's not a good sign. Um, you know, um, I love Morena Baccarin. I think she's fantastic. I think she's a fantastic actress. Um, but the, the, the front, the, the opening scene, okay, I understand it um, from a... Uh, um, from a narrative point of view, but you know, in that first scene, she isn't very likable because the geezer who planted the bomb in the church, all right, I know it killed the family, but you know, he was sort of he was made to do it against his will, so to speak. He was given, you know, he was offered money for his his wife that was dying, who did die, and this sort of thing. You know, what I mean, there's this sort of a uh, sad backstory to that character who, who planted the bomb, but um, yet she still kills him. So I do, I do get it from a narrative perspective. But are we meant to dislike this character, or are we meant to like this character? Um, you know, the bomb in the bank thing—it it just feels repetitive of what I've seen before. Um, you know, with a timer, they've done it. They've done it in the previous episode with the lasers moving forward. It, it was all based on a time frame, and and that's what this bomb was based on—a time frame. Um, so, so I'm just feeling this repetitiveness, just the same thing, just done in a different manner. I want to see. I'm I'm interested in seeing where the show goes, um, because it can't just be Val Turner sat down in a room with. Um, Elena Fedorova, who's locked up in, you know, all the time. She's got to get out and about. She's got. They've got to do something different with this show, or it's going to die a death. Um, yeah, as much as it does seem multi-layered, I'm starting to feel that, you know, the audience is being treated like they're stupid. That either that or the writers are truly stupid and underestimate the intelligence of the of the audience um yeah so it's a bit of a mixed bag at the moment and and i, I really don't know um what way the show's gonna go so i am gonna continue watching it because you know it's got potential it has got potential but at the same time cracks are appearing it is showing weakness um so yeah it's it's it'll be interesting to see that's all i can say anyway i'm getting going i will be back next week with the next episode review so you can catch that um if you are interested in seeing my thoughts on it then you know consider hitting the subscribe button and why not the channel's got a wealth of other material on it that you might just like um also leave me a comment down below if you so wish um am i way off do you disagree with me completely um that's a good thing about you know having a discussion you know no one's got the same opinion um we all differ it's you know i'm not i'm not knocking people that are really enjoying it because you know i'm gonna enjoy stuff that that you people that are enjoying it really dislike you know and that's the way it goes art subjective and all that sort of thing so stick me down catch me in the comments down below i will reply um hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell so you know when next week's one comes up i know this one is a bit later than what i normally do um, but i've been at work all day so i wasn't able to catch it as early as what i normally catch it uh, just one of those things, you know, one of those days. And, and next week will likely be the same. But there you go. Anyway, this is AJ. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening to me nag and moan about the end game. But, you know, we'll see where it goes. This is AJ. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care all. Have a fantastic week.